I'm Derek Davidson. I'm the bagpiping instructor for the Graham Highlanders of St. Johnsbury Academy in Caledonia County, Vermont. St. Johnsbury Academy is an independent high school in a New England model. Uh, it's, it has a very good academic reputation. It's got an international student body. Uh, the teachers, the faculty, uh, they'll go to whatever extent they reasonably can for a student that's shows an interest and a motivation. Here at St. John's Bury Academy, we are the only high school pipe band in New England. And although you might find other pipe bands within New England, we're the only one that is offered through the school where you can get credit for learning bagpiping and drumming. And that's a very unique opportunity that you have here at St. John's Bury Academy. We, the school offers bagpipes for credit, bagpipes, drums, and highland dancing. I think that's definitely a plus. You know, if I was someone in a pipe band and I was high school or middle school age, I would want to join go to a school that offered this for credit. So that's five days a week. You can It's 80 minutes with an instructor, and so you learn a lot. I took that for one year, and it was amazing. I learned a lot. The Academy has a huge diversity of students uh, from nearly 20 different countries all over the world. Many, many different classes that you can take. Uh, from construction all the way to like Latin. We have four girls dorms and three boys dorms so there's plenty of room for everybody and if you are a dancer and you come here and you want to practice we have a dance studio and a black box which you can reserve after school for practice time and there's always an empty classroom. I mean I'm sure plenty of teachers around here would be really supportive and love to have you practicing in their classrooms. And with like pe having such a busy schedule as many people do in high school, it's really helpful with my time management to have the Celtic Arts class and so I could practice during the school day. Started from Derek Davison okay. is a good teacher well because he's, he stresses a lot of the basics. He stresses you know embellishments, you know how you play these right, and it really makes a tune if you play the embellishments right. I don't think it matters what instrument you play or even what sport you play or what other interests you have. If, if um, fundamentals are taught well, then you're laying the foundation. I believe and stress with the drumming instructor as well as the Highland dancing instructor is that our students leave this program and they're well founded in the basics and the rudiments. Um, that enables them to go pretty much anywhere and everywhere. The drumming students here are given the opportunities for private instruction as they need. Um, if the student wants lessons once a week, we can set that up. If they want them every other week, we can do that as well. Um, it's one of the benefits of me being here full time. Our dance teacher, Hebu Lanzetta, has been dancing for a very long time. She'll show you the basic movement for the step, um, such as she'll show you the break or the movement that's the most prominent throughout, and then she'll build off that so you learn the steps that you need. And then once you learn the basic steps, you can learn the more fun and more difficult ones. Heather's approach to Highland dancing, uh, she's very dedicated and also helps um, keep her dancers dedicated as she uh, likes her dancers to compete. We went to Scotland, competed at the World Pipe Band Championships, and in our division placed higher than any other North American pipe band. The trip to Scotland was a lot of fun. Everything it was like the United States and Canada competitions, only a lot bigger. It was great. You could go over and it, we went to a minor, I think it was a minor competition, and it was humongous. There was grade one bands there. I mean, a minor competition back home is 
three bands, and their minor competition is 50. And it was amazing to see just the scale and the dedication that they have over there. The exposure that the students got um, in Scotland competing at the Worlds to some of the top grade one bands and individually some of the top solo players as well. While we were over there, the drummers and I went to a solo drumming recital where five of the top solo drummers in the world competed and we got to meet them afterwards as well. If you've started piping and drumming or you have interest in piping and drumming, you need to come to St. Johnsbury Academy. It's an opportunity to make sure you're doing all the fundamental things well. It's a great school program, a very competitive and active band who keep themselves at the forefront of what's going on in the piping, drumming and pipe band world. That's important. And after three or four years here, you can then have yourself prepared to move on to post-secondary education where you can continue your studies in piping and drumming anywhere in the continent. I'm Timmy McIntosh, MBE. I came up here to St. John's Murray at the uh, invitation, uh, Derek Davidson's invitation, to meet the students and uh, observe the programme that uh, Derek uh, has started here in the school. And uh, I, I was very, very pleasantly uh, surprised at the, the standard of the students and, uh, and especially the instruction that, that those uh, young students here are, are getting. Uh, they're very fortunate uh, because Derek is obviously a very dedicated and uh, experienced teacher and uh, he's uh, given young students here uh, his time and just uh, expert tuition. And uh, I can only see those students in uh, St. John's very attaining a high standard in, in their playing and their appreciation of uh, Scotland's bagpipe music.